friends what happens when you multiply a binomial by itself as many as you want in other words we want to expand x plus y whole to the power n for any positive integral index n before proceeding further please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for the future updates friends an expression consisting of two terms is called a binomial expression for example we have written here x plus y this x plus y is a binomial expression the theorem that gives a formula for the expansion of some power of this binomial expression is known as a binomial theorem now let's start with the index 0 if we take the index of x plus y as 0 then it will be obviously 1 isn't it x plus y whole power 0 is equal to 1 and if we take an index say x plus y whole power 1 then you will find again x plus y obviously and we take another formula say x plus y whole to the power 2 that is square it is equal to x square plus 2xy plus y square and uh, we shall write another formula you have known it in 8th standard this is x plus y whole to the power 3 and obviously this is x cubed plus 3x square y plus 3xy square plus y cube now we shall study all the formulae okay one by one first formula is x plus y whole to the power 0 this is 1 so this is a constant now x plus y whole to the power 1 is equal to x plus y can you write x plus y as 1 into x into y to the power 0 this is the first term and the second term is 1 into x to the power 0 into y to the power 1 here x power 1 can i write this one now x is equal to 1 into x to the power 1 into y to the power 0 you know y to the power 0 is equal to 1 obviously in the other hand this y can be written 1 into x to the power 0 into y to the power 1 why have i written written here like these terms because i shall apply the rule sub combination before that you should know this one nc0 is equal to 1 ncn is equal to 1 nc1 is equal to n and moreover there is another rule of combination this is uh, ncr is equal to ncn minus r as for example if i write 7c5 so 7c5 can also be written 7c2 because this is 7c 7 minus 5 means 7c2 now friends nc0 is equal to 1 and ncn is also 1 using this rule ncr is equal to ncn minus r now friends in the second example the second formula x plus y whole to the power 1 which is x plus y can be written now this one can be this first one can be written 1c0 x to the power 1 minus 0 1 minus 0 into y power this 0 can i write 1c0 you know nc0 is equal to 1 so 1c0 is also 1 and x to the power 1 minus 0 obviously x to the power 1 again and y to the power 0 as usual this 0 is written here this is the first term right written here and uh, second term similarly 1c0 so second term will start with 1c1 you know ncn is equal to 1 so 1c1 is also 1 written here into x power 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 into y power this 1 so obviously you see 1c1 is equal to 1 x to the power 1 minus 1 this is x to the power 0 and y to the power 1 as usual so this is written in combination form actually from this one you have uh, got this um, expansion x plus y only x plus y whole square here also you will find it can be written in this way 1 into x to the power 2 into y to the power 0 
these two x y can be written two into x to the power one into y to the power one plus y square can be written one into x to the power zero since x is absent here so x to the power zero now x to the power zero is equal to one into y to the power this two okay everything is written in a systematic manner the coefficients are respectively one two one okay one two one now this one can be written the index is two so it will start with two c zero you know 2c0 is equal to 1 here it is written and c0 is equal to 1 so 2c0 is also 1 so friends this is 2c0 into x to the power 2 minus 0 2 minus 0 into y power this 0 so systematically this is the first term 2c0 is 1 x to the power 2 minus 0 that is x square and y to the power 0 as usual next it is 2c0 so obviously the next term will start with 2c1 so 2c1 x to the power 2 minus 1 into y to the power this 1 and third term will be this is second term 2c1 and third term will contain 2c2 you know 2c2 is equal to 1 because ncn is equal to 1 so if you replace this n by 2 so 2c2 is equal to 1 obviously so 2c2 into x to the power 2 minus 2 2 minus 2 into y to the power this 2. So this is the form of x plus y whole square. This is the source form actually. Similarly, we can write this x cube plus 3x square y plus 3x y square plus y cube in the same manner. This is uh, index is 3. This is also a positive integral index. So you write 3 c 0. The first term will start with 0. 3 c 0 x to the power 3 minus 0 into y to the power this 0. Next 3 c 0. Next is 3 c 1. 3 c 1 x to the power 3 minus 1 into y to the power this 1. Next 3 c 2. 3 c 1. 3 c 2 x to the power 3 minus 2 into y to the power this 2 and finally obviously 3c3 3c2 3c3 x to the power 3 minus 3 y to the power 3 you have to check now 3c0 you know 1 x to the power 3 minus 0 means x cube and y to the power 0 is 1 so the total resultant is x cubed yes this is the first term next 3c1 you know n c a 1 is equal to n so 3c1 is 3 3 into x square into y this is the second term obviously 3c2 you know 3c2 is 3c1 because ncr is equal to ncn minus r so 3c2 is equal to 3c1 and the result of 3c1 is 3 so 3 into x to the power 1 into y to the power 2 so this is third term and 3c3 is equal to 1 x to the power 0 y to the power 3 so ultimately y cubed so all the terms whatever we have written here are correct now friends we have to extend the concept actually you have written the indices respectively 0 1 2 3 in this way it will be expanded and uh, i write a general form of x plus y where the index will be taken n okay n is any positive integral index so can i expand x plus y whole to the power n in this form the first term will be x to the power n this is actually nc0 nc0 x to the power n minus 0 into y to the power 0 so ultimately x to the power n one thing is very important to observe here you uh, see from this uh, formula x plus y whole to the power 1 the first term is x power 1 second term is y power 1 last term is y power 1 similarly x plus y whole square here also the first term is x squared and the last term is y squared similarly x plus y whole cubed here also you will find x cubed and the last term is y cubed similarly x plus y whole to the power n these will have also the first term x to the power n and the last term will be obviously y to the power n there is no question to have these two terms and in between the terms will be uh, since it is it was started with nc0 so it will be nc1 x to the power n minus 1 into y to the power 1 third term is nc2 x to the power n minus 2 into y to the power 2 in this way it is continuing and finally you are getting y to the power n if i uh, if i ask you 
what is the number of this term what is the which term is it actually this is actually the third term this is the second term this one is the first term in the second term you see this is 2 nc2 two, 2 sorry this is the third term in third term you are observing that the combination part is nc2 two, 2 in the second term it is nc1 so if you go through this system you will find after some moment the r plus 1 term it will be nc r x to the power n minus r into y to the power r this is actually the general term and this is the r plus 1 term so i can write the general term in this way the general term t r plus 1 is equal to n c r x to the power n minus r into y to the power r this is the general term of x plus y whole to the power and this is very important if it is asked there what is the general term of x plus y whole to the power n the general term of x plus y whole to the power n is n c r x to the power n minus r into y to the power r no friends one thing another thing is very important in this expansion x plus y whole to the power zero you find that there is only one term in the expansion x plus y whole to the power one that is two terms when the index is one you are getting two terms two terms in the expansion when the index is two you are getting three terms in the expansion okay carefully observe if you carefully observe then the concept will be clear the index is three so in the expansion we are getting three four terms okay four terms in the expansion so my question to you if we have expanded this one x plus y whole to the power n for the first term is x to the power n last term is y to the power n how many terms are there in this expansion obviously we say the expansion gets n plus one terms here okay total terms in this expansion is n plus one that means one term more than the uh, index okay if the index is three you will get four terms in the expansion if the index is n then you will have n plus one terms now my question is if the expansion the binomial uh, expression contains minus sign between what will happen x minus y whole to the power zero this is again one if it is x minus y whole, whole to the power one then it will be x minus y isn't it if you are given x minus y whole square then it will be x square minus 2xy plus y square if it is given x minus y whole cubed then x cube minus 3x square y plus 3x y square minus y cube so one thing is to be observed carefully the signs are here alternately changing the sign of if it is x minus y then the sign is plus next is minus okay x minus y whole square the signs are respectively plus minus plus plus minus plus so the signs are alternating if it is taken x minus y whole cube then plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus alternately changing so x minus y whole to the power n here also you will find the signs will be alternately changed but my question what will be the sign of the last term you can't say the sign will be positive or negative this can be taken this can be written in this way this y to the power n now will be written in this form minus one whole to the power n into y to the power n minus one to the power n into y to the power n if n is even then minus one to the power n will be positive if n is odd then minus 1 to the power n will be negative so plus or minus will be uh, decided by minus 1 to the power n okay in this way what will be the sign of this one also the sign will also be in this way minus 1 whole to the power r so the general term now i have to write the, actually the general term this is most important part of this uh, expansion x minus y again i write x minus y whole to the power n in this expression you will find the general term i do not exp 
expand all the terms here or, or, or we do not write all the terms i just write the uh, general term tr plus 1 so tr plus 1 is equal to minus 1 to the power r into nc r x to the power n minus r into y to the power r so i have written two general terms respectively for x plus y whole to the power n and x minus y whole to the power n the general term x plus y whole to the power n is ncr x to the power n minus r into y to the power r and the general term of x minus y whole to the power n is minus 1 to the power r into ncr x to the power n minus r into y to the power r